In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP LaserJet M209DWE or any HP laser printer that are looking like this one to your Mac computer. Could be a MacBook Air, iMac, it doesn't matter. You just have to follow what I will show you next. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to put the printer into pairing mode. To do so, make sure the printer is turned on and go over here where all the buttons are first thing you need to do is to press this i button during about four seconds so keep it pressed one two three four then release it next step is to press this wi-fi button it's very small over here at the same time has this x button you just need to press them once like this don't need to hold them then this wi-fi uh, light will flash and on the front over here you see, this light should turn to purple. If the light does not turn to purple after you did this, just press the small Wi-Fi button once again. And wait. And the printer will make a noise, this is normal. And the light will turn to purple after about 15 to 20 seconds, just be patient. Okay, so uh, now we can go back to the MacBook, go on the App Store, and you need to search for HP Smart App. This one over here. So once you see it, download it or update it, like in my case. This is the main screen of the app with all uh, the printers that you have connected. What you need to do now is to press this very small little button on the top right corner where there is a printer with a plus sign, press on it, then press on get started. And your printer will appear here, M209 LaserJet, you just need to click on it. Okay, now what you need to do is, this is where your Wi-Fi network, with your Wi-Fi network name, and you need to type the password of that network. Press continue when you're done. Now it will ask you to press the I button of your printer, is the first one over here. Press once, and the setup will continue on the computer. You'll get this screen, then press continue. Then on this screen, I suggest you, su you click on decline optional data, because if not, your personal data will be sent to HP and obviously you don't want that. Okay, now this is very important. So uh, they say, thank you for choosing HP Plus, like you choose it, but you didn't do anything. HP Plus, it's a subscription service where you pay each, each month and then and they send you um, uh, the ink and you can print a certain amount of pages each month. Honestly, I don't suggest you choose it. Why? I'll just press continue so you see it by yourself. Because by confirming, you agree to the following requirements, which is to sign in and create an HP account. All right, this you don't have a choice really. Connect your printer to the internet. So your printer will need to be connected to the internet uh, nonstop if you want it to work. And finally, and this is the most important one, is use only original HP toner. Buy HP cartridges or enroll in instant ink. This means you won't be able to uh, buy any third party cartridges from Amazon or whatever uh, other places they sell them. Those third party cartridges are usually selling for maybe sometimes even five times less money than the original HP one. So by choosing confirm here, your printer will only work with original HP ink and you won't, won't be able to use it with any other inks. And this is not fair at all. This is why I suggest you don't choose this uh, HP Plus um, option. So what to do now is simply go back if you're here and you need to quit the app because the printer is connected to your Mac. They don't tell you, they are a bit sneaky here. They don't tell you that you can actually start printing right away. 
um, with your Mac and it will work. They just try to sell you this thing. And I, I don't like that. But yeah, just quit this app and relaunch it. So I'll go here, I'll type HP Smart, okay, just to launch the app again. And we are in the main menu screen of the app. And they will say, hey, finish setup here. Well, you don't have to do it. Again, they are a bit sneaky. You can actually start using your printer right away and I'll show you that it works. So go down and uh, select print documents. Here they ask you to create an account this is not the HP Plus account, it's just an HP account. You absolutely need to create an account to use, um, to be able to print using your Mac. Again, I don't find this fair, but at least it's free to do so. Okay, so I sign in to my account. If you don't want, uh, if you don't have one, just create one. It takes just a few minutes. Okay, from here, you can select allow or don't allow to have access to your picture. I won't allow HP um, to do so. It's a laser printer. I don't think anyone will print pictures anyway. And select the file you want to print from your Mac. Let's say this is uh, the document I want to print. Press print preview here. And here, make sure that your laser jet is selected and then um, select the other options if they're not what you want. Let's say the paper size is not eight by and a half by 11. You want another paper size, just change those settings. And when you're ready, you're gonna press print. In my case, I just want to print the first page. So I'll go here and make sure only the first page is selected. Go back and press print. Now I'll put this away and just to show you that it works, Make sure you have some paper. And here we go, we have the document uh, that was on my Mac that just got printed. So again, you don't need to have an HP Plus account to make this work. So this is how it works. This is how you connect your Mac computer to your HP LaserJet M209 DWE to print uh, via Wi-Fi. I hope this was useful. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Leave a like subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video.